That's right, welcome back to Having Beef. Of course, uh, the number one beef jerky review show on the internet. Number one. With me today is a very special guest. We got Pastor Mark. Uh, say hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Yeah, so uh, today we're, we're glad you guys are here tonight. We're going to have a great night tonight, so welcome. It's going to be amazing. It's fantastic. It's the best night of the year because the it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Drum roll, please. Ta da! The bag of beef. You need a new bag. I don't know if you got the five cents. It's fine. We'll see. Now, the, the first thing, I just want us to really focus in on the rules. Stay fresh. Stay fresh. Stay fresh. Friendly, responsible, encouraging, selfless, helpful. Curious, you know, you're a pastor, right? Yes. I feel like you might be able to tell us a little bit about, like, what does it mean to be friendly? What does it mean to be friendly? I mean, it's, it's going beyond just the, hey. 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 Right? A lot of times we're like, oh, I'm being friendly. I'm like, hey. But it's, it's asking questions, right? Yeah. It's asking questions about people. Like, well, where do you go to school? Oh, yeah. Where do you live? I live somewhere. Uh, what's your bank account number? That's good. What about encouraging? What does it mean to be encouraging? Well, look at that hat. That's an awesome hat. I really like it, that it hat. It is a, Man, it's a name for it. You look great in flannel. Oh, thank you. Flannel makes your eyes pop. Oh, that's so kind. See, that's encouraging, right? Fantastic. What about selfless? What does it mean to be selfless? Hey, why don't you go first? Uh, hey, you I'm take the first you. place. Hey, why don't you go? Why don't you? That's what I'm saying, being selfless. Oh, right, yeah. Like, why don't oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask the other person. Go? I thought you were asking me to explain. No, I was like, I'm here to ask you. I'm I don't saying. know. Okay, what about helpful? What does it mean to be helpful? Find something to help with. Like, hey, I saw that you just ground the cheese that's into the carpet. Let me help you clean up. Yeah, let me. Hey, you stepped on that whole bag of cheese its and then the jumped bag. on it and then sat on it and then ground it into the carpet. L let me go ask a leader if we can get a vacuum over here. Him the whole person up and down, all over their face. It'll be great. Perfect. So to be helpful is to yes. vacuum somebody's face off. Yes. Okay. I think the biggest thing is it's just not being rude. Yeah, don't be rude. Don't be rude, right? Right. Like, I mean, you all know what it is to be rude. Don't be rude. Yeah. Uh, now it's time to be rude to some people who made some beef jerky, maybe. If it's bad. I don't know oh. if it's good or bad. I, I mean, don't know. Yeah. I mean, if it's bad, throw it in the trash. Throw it in garbage. Nobody wants some junk jerky. No. So, our brand of beef jerky is... Got a little, little finger wiggle. Uh, think jerky. I feel like they need a rebranding. I think they do. Grass fed is from Chicago. Uh, Chef Doug. Doug, my uncle Doug. Is that your uncle Doug? No, but I mean, he feels like he could be my uncle. Uh, we're gonna have a quick word from our sponsor. Sponsor. Hello, it's me again, Fryer the Chicken. Now you're probably asking yourself, hey, Fryer the Chicken, why is Mr. David walking around the church in a silly costume like that? Well, good thing you're asking. It's for a Reformation Day party. That's next week, Friday, October 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. Bring your best Bible costume, any Bible costume you can think of. And uh, there's going to be games and candy and prizes and stuff. So you're going to want to be there for the Reformation Day Party, October 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. Register on mycalvarygr.org. Wow, that was a great word from our sponsor. Thank you for uh, bringing so many words that were so great. Ready to dig into this think jerky? Let's, let's take a bite. It's pungent. Oh, that's, that's a strong. Oh, that's a. There's a pepper flavor in there. One piece of beef. So we all know the rules. Do you have to take the? Do you have to eat the whole piece? No. Okay. I don't know why those are the rules. They don't mean nothing. Okay. 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 Can I take a second piece of beef? Yeah, two pieces of beef. Since everybody mm. knows the rules. Everybody knows the rules. Two pieces of beef. Okay. 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 If I was gonna give this a number, I'm gonna give it a seven point eight three. Two, four. Final answer. Okay. I'm thinking we're like a 6.5. Here's the thing, you're the professional. I am. You're the beefs. I have the beefs. Where's the beef? There's the beef. There are right. Foxtrots got the beef. Good job. Uncle Doug did Uncle it. Doug did it. 
Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys here next time for the next episode of uh, Having Beef. Having Beef.